The chapter 3 main antagonist was just revealed along with a trailer release date and the secrets hiding here are insane. Like the video if you're hyped for chapter 3 but let's just get right into it. So basically continuing off my last video which you totally should have watched we theorized that on July 19th based on this teaser given for the ARG with 719 on it that we were going to be getting a brand new teaser or something like that and most people were actually really pessimistic about this estimate. However yesterday was just the 19th of July and to say we got something big would be a massive understatement. As come 10 a.m. of that day, the developers would drop the very first teaser for Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 being this image right here. And in this absolutely insane screenshot, we could see a dead Huggy Wuggy along with a massive purple arm reaching out and grabbing the toy with big claw marks into the ground. Plus, not to mention the massive ominous red eyes that we see deep into the background suggesting that this new character is going to be something extremely evil. But of course, most importantly, in the bottom, we could see the date July 26th, which the developers confirmed is going to be for a brand new Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 teaser trailer. Which, to be honest, was a little surprising to me that they're actually just doing a teaser trailer instead of a full-blown gameplay one. However, I think there's a very good reason for this I discuss at the end of this video, so stick around. But along with this teaser, we would also be given an expanded version, which they use for their banner, which shows the rest of Huggy's body. And perhaps just as cool, along with this, the developers in chat actually dropped a brand new OST song that is believed to be used for the trailer. And while I'm not going to play the whole thing here, the song totals in at 29 seconds, which seems to be unofficial confirmation that the teaser trailer in question is probably going to be around 30 seconds long in total, assuming that's what the soundtrack is used for. Looking deeper into this image, we could also find ourselves a ton of neat little secrets and clues. One of which being, for starters, if you brighten up the image, you can actually see a message here that reads, rejoice in the hour of joy, which might be a message you're already familiar with as it actually has shown up before in the Kissy Missy VHS tape from a couple months ago, where after we see Kissy riding the train, a message shows up in the wall in the tunnels reading, the hour of joy is at hand. So now we have these two messages seemingly referencing this random hour of joy in question. And while what it truly means is still super subjective, I personally believe that this hour of joy is actually in reference to when in chapter one, we could listen to a VHS tape at the very end, where we hear the scientists in panic as the monsters all had attacked back, presumably leading to the factory's abandonment, before then blaming Experiment 1006 for the actions that follow next. And this hour of joy in question could possibly be the hour that everything went wrong in the factory where all the scientists died, but also on the flip side would also be the same hour where the toys attacked back and would finally be able to escape, hence them rejoicing about the factory's eventual shutting down. Another Another interesting thing we got to see in this teaser is actually Huggy Wuggy and his biology. Because we know that the characters are of course alive because we see them move all the time, even the smaller ones. Plus there's blood all over his body specifically. However, looking deeper, we could actually see that inside of his body is a bunch of cotton stuffing. Exactly like what you'd see in say a normal toy. Which is very interesting because you'd expect these experiments to be made up of living things because they literally are living things. But in some sort of sci-fi way. Huggy is actually both a real living organism, but also is fluffy on the inside, which is interesting. However, by far the most interesting part of this photo is the character or characters that we see here and here. It's basically impossible to make out anything here with the eyes outside of the fact that they glow, which could be something. I mean, I saw some people taking long shot theories like saying maybe these are Huggy's nanny cams in his eyes that Rowan stole from the ARG said he had, but there's not really much to base it on here. The most important part that we see here though is this arm right here. See looking at the teaser like we said we could see a furry leg or arm coming down here moving downwards onto what appears to be a talon looking hand made of some sort of scaly material and they even have some razor sharp claws that almost appear to be made out of some sort of metal like material. So this thing is clearly going to be something horrifically dangerous however the big question of the day is what type of monster is this going to be? And to answer the question I've gathered a few of the most popular theories people have been bringing up here, starting first with the bear theory, which is of course the theory that suggests that this creature could be some sort of bear, judged by its extremely large and aggressive arm seen here, along with its overall massive size adjacent to what you'd see from, say, a bear. And while this theory is fun to think about, this one actually seems like the least likely option of the most popular, because we could see in the claws that they have an almost scaly type skin, unlike what you'd see in a bear, which would more likely bring us to the second theory being that this 
could be a dinosaur or some kind of reptilian creature, possibly even related to Braum the dinosaur from chapter 2. And this theory basically states that similar to Braum, this creature could be some sort of extinct dinosaur or reptilian creature, judged by, again, the very scaly skin and the long claws, almost like something that we would see in, say, a pterodactyl. But even then, this theory still is a massive stretch, in my opinion, and outside of, like, maybe one or two pieces of evidence, there really isn't much to be said here. However, the main theory I want to talk about is actually theory number three, being that this could be some sort of bird creature. See, I've told you guys already a while ago that I thought the chapter three main antagonist was going to be some kind of bird, more specifically a vulture. And this comes mostly from what we saw in the Bunzo Bunny comics last Easter, where we saw a story of Bunzo finding a bird's nest and accidentally killing a baby bird that appears to be very similar to a vulture silhouette before falling down a hole and dying with scratch marks on the wall. For whatever reason, this comic that the developers never have addressed outside of his release was put here in existence for some reason, and I was convinced at the time it was to tease some sort of bird creature coming into the game, which would be doubled down even more when looking again at the Kissy Missy tape, where when she was saved and the employees were killed around her, we see three long what appears to be claws gashed under her wooden plank, granted it's not blood or something, which it could be. However, if this was true, it would match up absolutely perfectly to the three three gash marks we see from this creature as they grab onto Huggy Wuggy in the teaser, possibly hinting at these being the same beings. Plus, there's a lot of biological evidence to suggest it's also a bird like a talon, which is literally a bird-specific feature. So at least of all the popular theories, I think most likely, if any, it's going to be a bird creature. And I've seen some people try to guess specifics with some saying it's going to be a vulture, like what we've already been theorizing about, or others saying it could be fictional birds, like a griffin, just because it kind of has a similar appearance. However, it's pretty much impossible to go any deeper with just one leg, and also, I highly doubt it's going to be that specific. Let me know, though, what you think it could be in the comments below. But something that's really important that I do want to point out is, as I'm theorizing about this stuff, it's also important to note that there's a pretty good chance that it's not any sort of specific animal at all. I mean, when you think about it, most characters in Playtime Co. are stuff like Boxy Boo and Huggy Wuggy who aren't really any sort of animal or anything like that. And so, theorizing aside, it's completely possible that everything I say here, no matter how much evidence, could be completely wrong because we don't know what they're going to be. However, something you might have noticed in this video is that I referred to the monster as either a character or characters. And the reason why I said this is because looking at the red eyes, they appear to be almost completely detached from whatever this arm figure is, which makes me really wonder if maybe this creature could be one thing and this creature in the red could be another. I mean, this is something the developers have already somewhat alluded to to after this teaser dropped, messaging emojis of yellow and purple colors along with sun and moon emojis. Which makes me wonder if possibly this figure we see here could just be one entity that's purple, and another new figure could be hiding in the dark entirely, sort of like sun and moon from Security Breach, but it's just an extra thought. You could also argue that maybe these emojis could be referring to the play care, because we know that in a scrapped version of the game station, there used to be suns and moons, I believe, on the ceilings of the building. However, while these ended up being scrapped, the developers actually told us that some of the scrap stuff from the game station may actually end up showing up in the play care, which this could possibly be a reference to. Or you could argue that all these emojis mean nothing and I'm completely overthinking it, which is probably true. However, one final question I wanted to ask about the teaser for this video is why now? Why are we getting another teaser trailer instead of say a gameplay trailer? Maybe it's a question not worth asking, but as we remember, the developers have actually already confirmed that there is going to be another separate gameplay trailer that will anticipate the game's final release when it does come out, so we know there's more trailers coming in the future outside of this one tease. So with that being said, what's going to happen in this teaser trailer? Well, while obviously it's just broad speculation, if you don't remember, when Project Playtime first started its ARG, it began with the developers releasing an image with a clue hiding inside of it, kicking off the ARG, leading up to its eventual gameplay trailer when it was over. And with the developers already saying a Chapter 3 ARG was going to start in the coming weeks, I wonder if maybe maybe this teaser trailer might just not reveal the new main antagonist, might not just be our first real look into chapter 3, but I also wonder if it could be the start of a brand new ARG, an ARG at that that we've been waiting for for months now. And somewhere in this trailer, there might be some secrets we may have to discover for ourselves to reveal some new clues. I don't know, it makes a lot of sense in my head, but it's very much speculation. Let me know your thoughts and check out this video to learn how the developers might actually be making another new game. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you.
you guys there and peace out.